dear viewers welcome to our channel in this video we are going to see how to perform ignition dynamic test using this dynamic timing advanced tester this is a stroboscopic timing light using this timing light we will see how to perform ignition dynamic test this dynamic tester as you can see we have a switch this is a trigger switch that we are going to hold once the connection is done it is battery powered we have these two cables this goes to the positive terminal and this goes to battery negative so the stroboscopic timing light will be powered by 12 volt from the battery and this signal picking device is connected to the cylinder number one spark plug wire so the spark plug wire will be inserted in here and uh, then this will be placed on the spark plug wire and this triggers the timing light so that is how it operates. Every time cylinder number one receives power, this signal will trigger a light bulb in here. So every time cylinder number one receives a spark, this light will be turned on. So we can point this to the timing mark and then see how the timing is. Now in order to clearly understand the operating principle of this timing light, Let's put together some very simple experiment and see how it operates. We will do a very simple connection and see how it operates. We have the timing light here. Battery cable, battery power. We have 12 volt battery. Ignition coil. for. Distributor for triggering the primary winding. Spark plug with a spark plug wire serving as cylinder number one. And we also have some electrical wires. So let's do the connection. Three negative to the distributor. Let's connect this spark plug to the center terminal of the spark plug. Spark plug is connected. Let's connect battery positive to the ignition coil. This goes to battery positive. Here. Let's connect the distributor housing to battery negative so the primary winding will get grounded. This will be connected to battery negative. We will connect it once everything is done. Also, the spark plug needs battery negative. The spark plugs. The spark plug should also be grounded. So let's connect this spark plug. Battery negative. And timing light this should be connected to the spark plug with this side pointing to the spark plug side connected These two should be connected to battery positive and battery negative. Positive, battery negative. Let's 
Well, the connection is done. Let's see if there is a spark at the spark plug. Do you see the spark at the spark plug? Now, let's hold this and see. Well, I don't know how well the spark is visible to you, but I have brought some dark screen on the back of the spark plug so that you can see the spark. So when I activate the distributor so that it triggers the primary winding, you see there is a spark at the spark plug. So now, when the stroboscopic timing light is held like this, look, every time the spark fires, Every time the spark plug fires, the stroboscopic timing light bulb will be turned on. So this is how it operates. See? Whenever there is a spark, that spark signal will be picked by this pickup coil and then it will trigger the light. You can see. So this is how the stroboscopic timing light works. Every time there is a spark here, every time we have a spark, it will be triggered. So this is a simple demonstration showing how the stroboscopic timing light operates. So with this held, held like this, so this is simply the operating principle. When the trigger is released, there is no light. When it is held, there is light. Now let's go to the engine and see how the stroboscopic timing light will be used on a vehicle to adjust dynamic ignition timing. We are going to make dynamic ignition timing test on this Porsche Seat engine, four-cylinder gasoline engine. We are going to hook up the dynamic tester and do a dynamic ignition timing check. So the dynamic tester is powered by the battery, the positive and the negative will be hooked up like so. And then this test probe will be connected to cylinder number one. Please note that it has a spark plug mark. This spark plug inscription, it should go to the spark plug side. So everything is hooked up. As you can see, this written part, which says spark plug side, should be to the spark plug side of cylinder number one. Then all we do is we start the engine and aim it to the timing marks.
well dear viewers as you have seen the rear, the rear side timing marks are not that much visible well for you to clearly understand let's make some temporary ignition timing on the timing mark on the front we will attach one mark on the crankshaft pulley here and one mark on the timing cover Let's put this somewhere here and see if it stays. Let's hope it stays. Well, the crankshaft was already set to zero degree TDC. Let's see if it works. If it stays when the engine is running, let's see if this timing stays. So when these two white lines align, it means we are at zero degree TDC. dynamic timing test is done you see when the ignition when fuel, when accelerated the centrifugal advance pulls the timing mark to the advanced side so this way you can check the operation of the advanced mechanism also let's see when I accelerate you can see it will advance
pedigree can be read by this. Now it is on zero. If you want to see the amount of degree advance, you can turn this node and see how much degree is it is advancing. Now let's see, for example, how much degree it has advanced. Now if I want to read how much degree it is advancing, I will turn this knob until the marks are nine. Now you can see it is 15 degree advance. 15 degree advance. Well viewers, that was, that was all. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned if you like to see more videos of this kind. This is a dynamic ignition timing test video.